All right, dude, we're back. We're talking Final Fantasy and Magic the Gathering again. I definitely wasn't planning on making, like, a third video in a row about this topic. I kind of thought we'd be done for a little bit until we got more info about this collab. However, this is actually a pretty important topic because it's discussing the possibility of them using generative AI to make some of the card art for this Final Fantasy collab. Which apparently is a thing when it comes to Magic the Gathering. I've seen people talking about this on social media, looked into it, and there's articles from earlier this year, I think in January, of, you know, surrounding this topic. But also, also we had Wizards of the Coast themselves, who of course create Magic the Gathering, put out a statement around the topic as well. Before we really even dive into the topic of discussion here, this does seem to be a thing that has existed in the Magic the Gathering space, I suppose. Which does suck, because, you know, I did grow up playing Magic the Gathering. I haven't really been in the scene for, like, 20 years at this point or so. But I remember, like, one of my favorite things about it was the artwork. And there's artwork that's great across all the different, like, colors of Magic. But I remember specifically, like, the Black Mana stuff. Like, that was always, like, some of the sickest artwork, some of the craziest shit you've ever seen. It was all, you know, made by actual artists back in the day. And there was no such thing as, like, AI like we have these days. It's just all something that somebody, like, you know, either drew themselves or, I guess, maybe made on a computer, however the fuck they did it back then. For me, that's very disappointing to hear for a card game that I used to very, very much love, but also something I'm trying to maybe get back into with this Final Fantasy stuff if I'm going to be buying cards that didn't really have any, like, heart or effort put behind them if they're using, like, AI tools to just auto-generate shit and then touch it up from there or whatever. Obviously, just the idea of using AI in general is just widely panned by most people because of just some of the things, like, whether it's stealing from other people's art or just maybe the laziness of it. So where I first seen this controversy was this tweet from yesterday from Jerry After Dark that says, The Sephiroth looks like AI. The part where the katana meets the guard is strange. His belt buckle doesn't feature the feather motifs. There's also a random buckle on his cross straps. There's some stray distortions in the hair strands on the right. His buckles are wrong. Now before we further dive into this, because they, they have another tweet where they put out like an image of like the Magic the Gathering Sephiroth art and kind of compare it to like the remake Rebirth character model and stuff like that. This is a different artist's interpretation of Sephiroth, right? Putting aside the AI discussion for a second, um, it doesn't have to be, like, super, super accurate. It's definitely based off of that. If, if this was, like, handmade by somebody or whatever, it's definitely based off, like, the remake Rebirth character model. But it doesn't need to be 100% accurate, right? It's not Tetsuya Nomura making a Magic the Gathering card art for Sephiroth or whatever. It's very possible that if this person was doing a Sephiroth art based off the remake Rebirth character model for Sephiroth, they could put their own spin on it where things don't add up entirely, or at least doesn't 100% match this because like a good portion of the things they talk about in their image is you know, comparing like character models like what he looks like in remake and rebirth versus this card art and how this is different or this isn't there or whatever whatever and i don't think it necessarily matters because it could just be artist interpretation that's not to say that there was an ai used because there's a decent chance there was because there is definitely some things off about this image and actually a couple of the other images too they also followed up that tweet we just read with that's really disappointing for magic the gathering also that moogle is somehow scarier than the ff7 rebirth moogles which I personally thought was kind of weird because this is just what Moogles kind of look like, especially with Creative Studio 3, which is, you know, Yoshi P's team for, you know, Final Fantasy 14 and also Final Fantasy 16. So anyways, another tweet says, Wizards of the Coast is known to use generative AI now, but I'd hoped it wouldn't be allowed for a Square Enix collab, especially for someone as iconic as Sephiroth. It's clear the artists use generative AI in their workflow. The details are just off. Generative AI tends to mess up the details as below. So I guess we can just kind of start in the top left corner. They're kind of comparing the background of the Magic the Gathering art versus Aerith death scene in Rebirth. And they, for one, call it the Forbidden City, which I don't think I've ever heard it called. A lot of stuff in Final Fantasy VII does have multiple names. In this case, it's the City of the Ancients or the Forgotten Capital or the Forgotten City. I've just never personally heard anybody call it the Forbidden City. They point out that the background of the card art is pretty much like a generic cave or whatever but with like the earth death scene there's like intricate architecture of course at the water altar but this kind of goes back to what i mentioned previously about kind of artist interpretation is that this is just an image of sephiroth doing hell's gate that's the attack that he used when he killed earth of course but there's nothing saying that the card art is earth's death moment right it's just sephiroth doing that attack it's an attack he has i think in both like fights you have in like remake and rebirth where you fight like human sephiroth right it's just an attack he does it's attack he does in like smash brothers right it's an attack he does in, like a lot of the games that he's a part of it's no different than, like, you know, Cloud having Braver or something, right? It's just an attack in his arsenal. And while you may not necessarily be in a cave, I suppose, when it comes to the Earth death scene, you do walk down a spiral staircase down into the Earth, essentially, into the, whatever this castle thing is, where the water altar is that Earth dies at. I suppose things are maybe a bit different when it comes to Rebirth, because we go through, like, a fucking portal to get here. Who knows exactly where we are and what we are? What is this place? Who knows exactly? We don't really get a lot of answers. It doesn't necessarily matter. I don't think the background is that important. I just want to point out that, like, you are kind of... You're in the Earth, uh, at least with the original FF7. Maybe Rebirth as well. If you look at, like, the Rebirth scene, too, in the background, like, it does look like you're in, like, a rocky location. Like, in the further distance, not the immediate area. Obviously, you're walking on, like, intricate architecture and shit. But again, there's nothing saying that the artwork is meant to be Eris death scene anyways. 
This next thing they point out is kind of interesting where the different belt buckles here, they say FF7 Rebirth buckle is his wing. His waist has one buckle per side, not one belt like in the image. So what they point out here is for one, obviously the belt buckle is very, very different. If you look at the magic image, there's like a blue orb in the middle, which obviously isn't there on like his remake Rebirth character model. That is a little bit weird and you don't see like the wing kind of feather motif that they mention. But also around like the magic Sephiroth's waist is just like a regular belt. And there's like actually no buckles at all when it comes to the coat that they're wearing. And look, I don't want to write every single thing off in this video to artist interpretation, but it is kind of a meme and has been for a very long time that Namor uses way too many belts, buckles, zippers, things like that, right? So if this person was trying to do like their version of Sephiroth, they might have forgotten all those ridiculous fucking buckles that are going down as like trench coat or whatever it is that he wears, right? And it went for like just a regular looking coat with like a belt around the waist. It's possible. As for like the blue orb inside the belt buckle, I don't know exactly what that is. That is very, very weird. It's very, very different. I don't know what that could be. Even if that was an artist interpretation, what is it meant to be? But also something I want to point out because of their like zoom in and kind of crop of the belt buckle is how this looks fucking weird. Like you do have these like side pieces coming off like the remake Sephiroth belt buckle. But like what is this jagged ass thing? When you really zoom in on this, it definitely does look kind of AI. You also have like this like almost squared off piece right here. It's like a straight line and then it goes into a circle. I think once you take like a really good look at that belt buckle, especially when you zoom in on it and kind of compare it side by side with like what his buckle is supposed to look like. There is something off. There's weird shapes and edges and things that just don't really make a lot of sense. So the next thing they point out is, of course, like the lack of like the buckles on the magic interpretation or whatever uh, we already kind of talked about, but also that there's like a belt around like Sephiroth's like thigh kind of above the knee on the magic image that's not there on his actual character model, but also these like white bands or something that are around his leg on like the remake rebirth character model, but that aren't there in the magic image. Again, I'm not trying to be like a fucking AI apologist in this video. It's just like, I don't think these are details that necessarily matter. Like the white around, like I don't think I ever noticed the white around his knees in his like remake character model ever until this discussion here they're so relevant i don't think they add anything to his character model they don't take away from anything either that just it doesn't matter if they're there so i could see somebody drawing sephiroth and being like we don't need this shit this looks like sometimes with the Namor's character models like there's too much going on i feel like when i'm looking at like the magic image whether that's auto generated or not or whatever and i look at like the remake image side by side it's like there's just it's too busy there's just too much kind of happening there also, if we look at these images side by side here, obviously on the right is the remake character model. The white bands around the knees are actually a part of the boots that he wears. And if you look at the, the magic image, his boots don't go all the way up to his knees, clearly. Whether or not that's a fault of, like, the AI itself or the artist's rendition, maybe they didn't think, like, Sephiroth needed knee-high boots, I don't entirely know. The one, like, belt or whatever that's on, like, his right thigh above the knee is definitely weird. Like, why would you even add that there at all? Uh, it doesn't make any sense. And the, the fact that it's missing on the left leg is a little bit weird. It's just, in general, that doesn't make sense. So that could be, like, an aspect of, like, the fucking generative AI. Like, just adding a belt there because it's a fucking character from Tetsuya Nomura, so there's just fucking belts in random places. I don't know. The next thing they point out is that there's an extra buckle going across his chest in the magic image that's not there in the remake interpretation. It kind of fall into the category of stuff we already talked about in the video. Is this meant to be like a fucking one-for-one -one recreation of the remake Sephiroth? I don't think it is. But also, is the belt there intentionally? Or is that like, you know, the AI throwing a belt buckle there because it's Sephiroth, it's Nomura? I don't know, man. They then also point out that in the background, there's like hair strands or something hanging. And I do think that this one is a pretty big deal. Because honestly, I don't know what the hell that's supposed to be, right? Whether we're in a fucking random cave, whether we're, you know, somewhere around Earth's death scene, whatever's happening, like, what is that hairy shit in the background supposed to be? If this is just a random ass cave, like, what is that, cobwebs? Like, it almost does feel like somebody, like, auto generated a picture of Sephiroth. Maybe they even typed in, like, as one of the prompts, like, white hair or something. And, like, the generative AI threw, like, white hair in the background randomly because AI fucking sucks sometimes. Or just in general, trying to auto generate some sort of image of Sephiroth that just had his hair in the background for some fucking reason. This one to me is a bit of a reach too. It says disappearing katana into guard. And to me, it just looks like a reflection where like the blade of the katana is like meeting the guard. They think it's like disappearing. It's like a phantom. It's not connecting, but it just looks like a reflection. Because it definitely is a reflection. If you look at the image, like you can see like the reflection of Sephiroth's skin. I will say there is some weirdness going on because you can't see like the kind of the pink of the skin or whatever, but it goes all the way down to like right here roughly, which doesn't really add up with where his skin's exposed. So there's definitely something off to it. I don't know. And the last one here, I think, is another one that's a bit of a reach, is just point out the shape of Sephiroth's face. For one, they're different kind of angles, like the Sephiroth and the magic cards looking down. The other one's kind of looking straight forward, almost sort of up at you, but also it's a different person who drew this. It's not Nomura that made this version of Sephiroth in the Magic the Gathering card. To me, it just looks like a different person's interpretation of Sephiroth, and whether that explains away a lot of the other stuff, I don't entirely know. It, just, it doesn't have to look exactly like Sephiroth's face in the game, right? If anything, what's saying that to me with the faces comparison is that it looks like Sephiroth in the card art, it's like wearing makeup, dude. It looks like he almost has like lipstick and fucking blush on. Which just seems kind of weird because like was that the artist's choice to do that? Like why did you want to give Sephiroth like rosy cheeks and like very like bright colored lips or something? Or is that just like a side effect of auto-generating an image of Sephiroth? I don't know. 
something I want to add to the conversation too is that with like the full image of this, which they don't have in their comparison, you can see like a bit of Sephiroth's sword's handle, and it's like kind of weird. It's like almost going straight up and down, where it almost come to like right here, whereas this is like more to the right, obviously, and it's, so it would almost like curve a little to the left, or maybe even go like straight up from where it's at. So there's definitely something off with the handle when you can see it. Also, something I didn't really notice until really looking at this image here for this video is like this almost looks like Sephiroth's sword's like kind of twisting a little bit. If you look at the bottom of the image, like you can see like pretty much like the back of the blade essentially, but when you get up to the top, obviously we're seeing almost like the exact side of it in a sense. Which also Jerry After Dark mentioned on the Twitter feed as well. I look at it, man, as I think there's definitely weird stuff. The belt buckle for sure is definitely strange with like its shape, but also the blue orb in the middle. The hairy shit in the background is a little bit weird. Like what's that about? But I think a lot of the other shit, it's like, it's such small stuff that it's like, if it was a mistake because of AI, it'd be easy to fix. So it's like either the person thought nobody would notice it or they're just lazy. Or a lot of the stuff was chosen, like the belt around like one leg or whatever, around like the right knee or thigh or whatever. And like the choosing not to do it on the left one, the extra buckle in the chest that's not there in the original character model for Sephiroth. Like those could be deliberate choices by the person that made the image. Like if it was a mistake to only have one belt buckle on like the right thigh, like it wouldn't be hard to either erase that, draw over it, or add another belt buckle on the left thigh or whatever. If, like, the, the belt buckle on the chest was a mistake, they could easily fucking edit that and take that out, right? It wouldn't be that hard to do. So that's why I think it's a, it's a little weird of a conversation, because I don't know. Because this person is an actual artist that created this card. The people that were, like, defending them a bit in the replies, and they're, you know, pretty talented. But So it wouldn't be, like, hard for them to edit this image, right? We're following the conversation of, were these intentional design choices by the artists in terms of, like, how they wanted Sephiroth to look? Were they small details that they thought nobody would notice from, like, the AI generation? Uh, did they themselves not even notice it, or was it just you know, sheer laziness? So some of the ones that I kind of want to point out, just brief ones here, with like the lightning image, I think her hand that's in the foreground is a little bit weird shape, and especially with like the way like the ring finger and middle finger is kind of like touching almost, the way they're like, kind of angled, but also like the pinky is very far away from the ring finger. But also specifically her cape, which if you look at it is long as fuck. Like if we just look at a comparison with lightning's actual character model, her cape goes down to like about her knees, a little bit below the knees. The cape in the actual image is obviously blown in the wind and kind of bent, but if it were to be straightened out, it'd be dragging behind her, but also it looks very, very thin in this image, whereas obviously if you look at her cape in the actual character model, it's like pretty wide. Again, as we talked about with the Sephiroth image, it doesn't have to be 100% accurate to her actual in-game character model, but it's like a weird choice. Why is the cape so long? Why is it so thin? But also like her hand, like I can't even really do it, but like her hand's like this, essentially. Like what's going on with the... If that was a choice by the artist, like why are we doing the hand like that? We're not going to go through like all the images and try to dissect them all and point out things that are kind of odd and maybe that's AI generated. It definitely sucks if that's the case. Maybe we'll learn more information as it goes on. I mean, don't get me wrong. I definitely want to know if that is the case and we'll definitely do some sort of follow-up in the future if there is any more information about this. Because I don't want to spend money on this shit if it's, you know, a lot of the art or some of the art is like auto-generated by somebody who can't be bothered to fucking draw it themselves because like, I'm spending my real world of fucking money on this shit and you're too lazy to draw it yourself. Like, I don't want to support that. Of course not. Of course, when it comes to this video, I'm just giving my thoughts, right? I don't know any more than the next person. You know, I'm definitely not an artist, so, like, there's definitely like, smaller details that somebody who is an artist would notice more than me. I definitely would. I'm just giving my thoughts how I feel about this shit. I could be absolutely wrong. I think there are some things that are weird, maybe signs of, like, generative AI or whatever, but I think there's other things, too, that were pointed out by the image that we looked at that I think are just kind of small things that don't necessarily matter. But, of course, that's where I pass off to you guys. And I'm sure a lot of you in the comments will know more than I will about this topic. Uh, whether or not that there's, you know, signs of generative AI in some of the images. I know people were talking about some of the other cards, art, like the Emmet art, Emmet. However you say the Final Fantasy XIV villain's name. Like, something was off about his picture. I don't, I don't really notice anything. I kind of pulled up his character model side by side, the images. I didn't really see anything that was off. Like, the FF10 one looks perfectly fine of Yuna and Titus kissing. I don't see anything off on that one either. Also, the Kefka one, the first one we got like a sneak peek of. I just don't see anything off on that one either. So, you guys let me know in the comments. Anyways, that's the video. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. So, it's in the description below. Follow me on Twitter, Dash YT. That's it. Bye. Used to care what people thought, but now I care more. I and mean, nobody out here's got it figured out. So, therefore, I've lost all hope of a happy ending, depending on whether or not it's worth it. So insecure, no one's perfect. We spend it with no shame. We blow that. Like Coltrane, we in here. Like Logan, or leave it. Like Cobain.